Hi, I'd like to demonstrate the ease and flexibility and power of using SharePoint to search for SAP data using SharePoint BDC. So in my SharePoint site, I'm just going to initiate a material search for um, material wallpaper. I run that. It returns a list of um, materials that it's found. I select the one I want for my plant. What I see here is a uh, composite screen showing firstly a web part here with details of the material itself, information that comes directly off the material master record, and yes, we can update what information we display here, including uh, graphic. This web part here is a list of vendors, so who have we purchased that item from in the past? I can actually go into this vendor. Um, or uh, I can open up this, I'll, I'll get to that in a second. I'll also show a purchase summary of um, purchases for that material by month for the last uh, for the last two years. Um, I can also interact with that. So if I just open up this, what it's doing is it's just firing off the HTML GUI for that transaction and uh, giving me the ability to um, uh, display, change, you know, navigate the um, vendor master record in SAP. Over here, if I open up this view, it's going to show me a more detailed list of information for that vendor. And it's showing me all the actual orders, all the purchase orders I've made for that vendor in the past two years. And again, the information that we display here can be, um, can be changed to, to, you know, to suit your specific requirements. But uh, the ability to um, open up the actual purchase order itself in SAP, or actually for any of these individual purchase orders, I can just show the line items um, of the of the particular purchase order itself. Um, this web part at the bottom shows me the purchase summary uh, for those for, uh, for that vendor for the last two years. I can actually look at this in um, in graphical form or just in a tabular form. The uh, the graphical form is quite nice because I can interact with that and um, search for this information in uh, multiple different ways just by selecting how I want to um, how I want to view the how I want to view the information um, and then lastly we also show a web part at the bottom that just shows me all the unstructured information all the unstructured documents I have on my SharePoint um, system for that vendor and here we have access to the actual Word document which is the contract for that vendor in the first place and we also render a uh, Google Maps view of the um, uh, address details for that vendor. Just a simple example of how we can actually create a custom SharePoint composite workspace starting off with a simple BDC search from within uh, SharePoint and uh, provide the user very useful information. Often when we ask people what your most common complaint about SAP is it's along the lines of there's a lot of information in there but it's very hard to access the right information at the right time so this is just a way of, of getting to that information in a very simple role based format if you like this style of solution please visit our website iqxbusiness.com we have a range of template um, SAP web parts for um, for SharePoint we have a range of template SharePoint InfoPath forms for SAP that drive a whole range of SAP processes from purchase orders to uh, expense claims, um, travel requests, those sorts of things. And um, we also quite happy to take on custom SharePoint SAP um, development um, projects. Feel free to contact us. Thank you.